to my channel hope you guys are well today so today i am reviewing the final wig from that wig collection video that i made um a few months ago a couple months ago last year so um this is the final wig i totally forgot about this wig i didn't even know i had this wig um i'm kind of feeling this wig right now but the first time i put it on when i got it um i didn't like it it just kind of looked weird but i just had to play around it kind of like you know just play around because when it's fresh out of the box it's um a little bit stiff i didn't put no products and i actually wore it to work today i didn't do anything i was like running late so i just put it on i had already cut off the lace from it so i just put it on and just zoomed out but this wig is the Jamaican Twist Lace Wig. It is $31.95 and I got that from hairsisters.com. I got it in the color 1B. I wanted a color 2 but they didn't have it. So 1B and it's perfect. Um, they actually have it in a 1B and a 1. Um, but the 1 was a bit too dark for me. So I just stuck with the 1B. But basically I'm going to take off this wig so you can actually see see what it is all about and then I'm gonna do a styling through as well that way you can also see how I style it all right so basically this is what's under the wig I part my hair well I comb roll my hair in three braids one two three and then I have two small braids going this way that's how I wear my braids for like most of all my wigs um I part it this way because that's where the wig is parted and then I apply my Cream of Nature Argan Oil for perfect edges. I use this toothbrush to kind of um, help it lay down perfectly. And then I use this rattle comb to kind of part it a little bit more if I need to. So this wig is a full frontal lace wig. So basically it's from ear to ear. Um, this is what it looks like. I cut the lace off of it. So this is what it looks like. It's from here to here. It has two combs in it. There it is. One, two. And then it has another comb in the back and it has an adjustable strap. Um, let's see. What else? This wig is really soft. I'm going to put it on so you see. It's really soft. It's not like super kinky like... Um, it's not super kinky like um, some other ones that like I've had or tried or whatever. But this wig is super soft and I like it. So, as I said, out of the box, it's really stiff. So you just kind of have to play around with it and um, adjust it however you choose. So basically line it on there. Oh, so like I said, I was rushing to work this morning, so I didn't like tweeze or anything. Most of the time I actually don't tweeze my wigs. I just kind of wear it as it is. I don't put foundation or anything. I just kind of like it that way. I feel like it's, you know, I, it's already it's a wig, you know, I don't need to lie about it being all realistic and whatnot. So I just kind of wear it as it is. But with this one, it's really super like close. So um, you could tweeze out some hair if you want, but pff, I really don't care for it. So, but yeah, so this is it basically. Um, I put it on like so. And then adjust this part as well. Okay, so just let it lay down on your parting. And just use the, this is why the rattle comb is um, important. You just use it to push your hair inside the wig, basically. So as I said, you can barely see the, um, the parting of the wig. So you can tweeze it if you choose to. So. This is the way just on top of my hair, just that's it. But you have to play around with it. With this wig, it's a bit tricky. So what I did today was um, this part is a bit raised. So I just kind of use my fingers to run through it a little bit just to, you know, kind of loosen it up a little bit. And then I use a bobby pin to pin the raised part down so it looks like that but yeah this is basically it I have more bobby pins you can use um normally I would use the comb in the uh, wig but sometimes it's a bit too tight so I would use a bobby pin to like secure it on these ends on the on each side of the on each end 
<laughs> I use that bobby pin to pin these girls down and looks tight, looks good. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, this morning, this is how I wore it to work. I just kind of took this part just to get it out of my face. I took this part and pinned it down like such. And um, I also took this part and pinned it down. And I got a lot of compliments today actually at work. Everybody was like, oh, I love your hair, I love your hair, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> a lot of people don't even know, you know, the secret, but we'll just keep it like that, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. so yeah, that's pretty much it. You can leave this part down, just like pin this part up. So actually, this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to pin just this part up and just keep this part down. So yeah, that's a style number two. You can do whatever you please with it. Um, I may even choose to pin more down like this, or basically something like this. So, and it's gonna look like that. So yeah, you can wear it like that as well. Just play with it, you know, do whatever looks good on your face. Hi guys, that's basically it for the wig review. I am done. I probably won't be buying any more, not probably, I won't be buying any more wigs for a very long time. Um, I'm going to try to put my hair in a braid or something um, whenever someone gets here. Well, before someone gets here, probably next week. We'll see. But yeah, I like it. Once it gets a bit older, I'm going to like, you know, finger comb it to, you know, make it look a bit more puffy or whatever. But Looking good, shawty. Looking good. <laughs> Ignore. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I shall speak to y'all later. Bye.